What's up guys, in this short tutorial I will show you how to prevent GTA 5 from crashing on startup or randomly while playing the game. This should be quite an easy tutorial, but if you still have any questions then leave a comment and let me know. If the game is crashing because of your system's low performance, then make sure to lower your in-game graphics settings and playing in full screen mode. After verifying your in-game settings, leave the game running and open up your task manager. Here in the Processes tab, right click Grand Theft Auto 5 and select to go to Details. Here in the Details tab, the GTA 5 process should be highlighted. Simply right click the process and set the priority to high. This will in turn allocate more resources to playing the game and should prevent it from crashing while in game, especially if you have other programs running in the background. In order to reduce the CPU utilization from other programs, I suggest you to end some programs from running in the background, which you don't need while playing the game. But make sure to only add programs from running, which you know won't break your operating system. In the Startup tab, you can additionally prevent programs from starting up on System Boot. Next, you can close GTA 5 and your Task Manager. When this is done, open up your Epic Games Launcher and in your game library, Select this burger menu and then click on Verify to verify the integrity of your game files. This will redownload and replace any missing or corrupted game files and should take a minute to complete. In case you are using the Steam version, then right click GTA 5 in your Steam library to get to its properties and in the Local Files tab, click on Verify Integrity of Game Files. In case a problem persists, then open up your file explorer and go to the drive on which you saved the game on. Here, navigate to your program files, GTA 5, and here, right click the GTA 5 application and select Properties. In the Compatibility tab, select to disable full screen optimizations and then click on Change High DPI settings, where you will have to check the Override High DPI Scaling Behavior setting. Don't forget, to apply your changes. And as always, make sure that your operating system and GPU driver is up to date to get the most performance out of your system. Search for Update to open the Check for Updates system settings. Here, select Check for Updates and you will be able to automatically download and install the latest OS update. If you're using an NVIDIA GPU, then I suggest using the GeForce Experience application in order to keep your graphics card driver up to date. In the driver tab, simply select update and the application will download and install the driver for you. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.